It's one thing to talk about what you should do if there's an active shooter in your building. It's another thing when you actually hear gunshots outside your door. That was the scenario today at Newark Catholic High School during a real time active shooter training exercise involving police, paramedics and students. NBC 4's Ted Hart is live there tonight with a story. Ted. Well, Mark, even though everyone in the building knew that it was coming when gunshots rang out and there were screams for help from the hallway, it suddenly felt very real and it put everyone's training to the test. <laughs> Students from one end of the building ran after hearing over the intercom that the shooter was at the other end. But inside, the gunman walked the halls, firing at staff and students. Ian Stacy says he and other students in chemistry class pushed tables up against a classroom door. The talk and the training and everything really gave me a good idea of like how to listen and how to calm down in a situation like this. After several minutes, police began to arrive, and the shooter, as they say, was quickly neutralized. Sergeant Doug Wells says whether it's a school building or a shopping mall, police respond much the same way. The, the tactics are the same. The only thing that changes is the size of the building, whether it's one floor, two acres, 40 floors. Um, we still clear it and check the same way, uh, dealing with the shooter, trying to find the shooter. School officials say this training exercise and the discussions before and after provide great benefit to students and staff. You know, I think it was very important because honestly, like, if it actually happened, like if we didn't have this and we had a drill like this, but I didn't know, like I knew it was a drill, I have no idea what to do. Everyone will review and critique their response, but at first glance, it looked good. From the first shot fired uh, to the last victim out that was able to get out was about 18 minutes, uh, which is pretty quick in this day and age. And, and Newark Fire Chief Patrick Connor said that he believes society wants to see full-scale training exercises like this, and he says it wouldn't be surprised to see more of these kinds of exercises in the future. Local for you and live in Newark, Ted Hart, NBC4.